In these problems, we're being asked to write a general rule to describe a rotation. And we've written general rules to describe a reflection across the x-axis uh, or the y-axis. Our rotation is a little bit more complicated, so we're going to do two of them here so you get a taste of it. This first one, we have this triangle xyz. It's been rotated 180 degrees counterclockwise about the origin, so there's our center of rotation. And what they're asking us to do first is find uh, the coordinates of the new points and then look at those changes to see what a general rule might be for this rotation. So let's look at x here. x starts at 1, negative 5, and it ends up at negative 1, 5. So negative 1, 5. So look what happened there. The, whoops, the, the x and the y have switched signs. So this looks to me like a negative x and a negative y. But let's check a second point here. So y started at 2, 1, and it ends at negative 2, negative 1. And we'll do one more. z, 4, negative 7, and z prime is negative 4, 7. So on all of these, we've just taken the negative value of the x and the negative value of the y. So x, y is going to map onto negative x, negative y. So where is that? Right here. So that's a general rule that describes this rotation. But don't think that this describes every rotation. This describes a rotation of 180 degrees. Let's look at another one. So here is a triangle, RST that's been rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So there's our center of rotation right there. And R starts at 1, negative 5. So where does R end up? At 5, 1. So 5, positive 5, and a positive 1. Before we think about the general rule, let's just do the other two. So S starts at 8, 2, and it ends up at negative 2, 8. And then t starts at 6, negative 4, and it ends up at 4, 6. So a couple of things are going on here. The numbers, if we just look at the numbers without the signs, they're switching places. So the 1 and the 5 switch places here, and we get 5 first and the 1 second. Then the, the um, value here in the, in the y spot, uh, which becomes the x spot, its sign changes. So we can write this as negative y comma x. If we start with x, y, then it becomes negative y, x. And that is this one right here. So these general rules for rotations are going to depend on the number of degrees that you rotate a figure.